Hey, one fam, I'm gonna quickly try and show you how to do the anti-spin toss. It looks like this. Prereqs are the floating anti-spin, so your regular anti-spin, but drop this hand, so it's just your tethered hand doing the anti-spinning. Uh, another helpful thing would be to know how to do a regular toss just because you already have a feel for that sweet spot and when to throw your palm grip. Um, and then one other quick little tip just for anti-spins in general is to tilt your wand forward a little bit before you do the anti-spin because if it's totally upright, it'll hit the string. So tilt your wand forward a bit, then do your anti-spin and you will not hit your string and no one from the front will ever know, okay? So basically to practice the toss itself, um, instead of going around this way like we would a regular toss, you're gonna have your wand horizontal and you're gonna toss the thumb down and down and out and around this way. So to practice this, just hold your wand horizontal, let it go and try the toss and try and catch it and just drill that for a while. You almost give the wand a little tug up before you throw the palm down. Um, and that's just gonna take a bunch of practice. I'll show you from the side. Okay, once you get that down, then you can try and throw it into your anti-spin. So here's your anti-spin. I think I usually start from the bottom and sort of scoop it up. And then you do your toss. And then once you catch, just keep going around with your anti-spin. It's going to feel awkward because the toss does interrupt your anti-spin. Um, but as long as you catch it and then just keep going around with the anti-spin, um, it should you should be able to like smooth it out and make it look good, um, even if it feels awkward. So drill, drill, drill. You can definitely get this and I can't wait to see it.